Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a widget list, maybe a button uh, a button list and and keep track of them and then be able to delete them. So for this we're gonna create we're gonna use a, a for loop and we're gonna when we create the buttons we're gonna append them to the list to a list of widgets which we're gonna keep track of then use it to, de to delete all the buttons so let's just start by defining a button which will create our buttons okay let's give it a text let's say text dot uh, let's say create I don't know if I'm recording or not yes I am recording okay create let's give it a let's give it a size root dot width of 0.4 and uh, root dot height of 0. let's say 0. 0.5 let's give it a position we want it to be centered at the bottom okay root dot width of 0. 0.3 and uh, root dot and guys I do not use uh, the grid layout or the float layout or all this uh, Layouts. I just use this instead of. Uh, I just use this root dot width and root dot height. I always keep keep track of my widgets this way. I don't know. I find it very comfortable to use this, even if uh, even though sometimes can be. Uh, it can be really. Uh, how do we say heavy? There is more code, so you can read. Uh, you're gonna write more lines. If I define a grid layout, then append those buttons to the grid layout each button is going to appear a grid layout with one column so each one is going to appear below it so but i'm going to do it differently because i'm used to this and for me this is the best thing i could use because i always i have this logic of uh, of having this screen maybe let's say this screen is uh this screen let's say this small screen is my my screen of give it so each button has a has a specific height and specific width. So I'm not going to be dependent on the grid layout to display my widgets. So we have. Uh, let's just continue. And uh, let's give it a position of, uh, let's say, 0 0.1. Okay. And let's give it an on press. Say uh, create root dot create and in here let me come here and just define my button def dot create dot self it takes self so in here I'm gonna pass let's see if this works yes it does okay so now we're gonna create our list of widgets. So we're gonna use basically a for loop for i in range. Or let's say uh, okay. Let's say let's say four. Okay. So and in here we're gonna define self dot self dot button or self just variant. Okay. I'm gonna create our button. So button it takes text. It's optional actually, but we're gonna need it. So let's say button and uh, let's be more specific. Let's say this str dot i. Okay, give it a space here to appear, and let's give it a position. Uh, let's give it a size first. Uh, let's say uh, self dot width of o of o point let's say let's say four okay and let's give it a height or starting uh let's give it a height okay self dot height of o point let's say o five this way let's give it a position if I'm using if I'm if I were using a grid layout so each button is gonna appear below the button but there is another trick it's gonna come in handy 
if you're going to use the root.bit and the root.8. So for the position is self.width of o of uh, let's say it starts from 0 0.9, okay? 0 0.3 actually, that's for the width. Uh, self self dot height of o 0.9, okay? So this is basically our starting our starting uh, height. This is from where we're gonna be starting uh, our buttons. This way, the button is gonna appear one above the other. It's gonna it's not gonna be appearing like we want to. We have to add one more line. Self dot add widget dot self dot dot self dot btm. Let's see how this works. Okay. You can see only the last button appeared because it's, la it's the last one. It's like a stack. There's a button on a button. So we have to modify this. Each time you create one, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna add some modify the height. So the starting height is always let's let's give it a name first. Let's say self dot h equals to self dot height of 0.9. Okay. And each time we're gonna gonna create a button we're gonna decrement this height so self dot h equals to self dot h minus how much let's say self dot height of 0.1 okay and in here let's give it just the self dot h let's see how this works okay now you can see there is a uh, there is a, actually there is four buttons starting from O and ending at three and you can see this uh, there's our button so we have to add one more thing which is really interesting so we have to add an on press and an on press let's uh, define another function and give it a name of give it a name of uh, press just press like this Okay, and let's define the press, and it takes self and instance. Don't forget this. If you're gonna create buttons in your Python file, you have to give instance for all the buttons. Okay, and for now, let's just pass. Or actually, it's print, print. Uh, let's say the instance itself. Dot text. Okay. This is uh, why we use this. Let's see how this works. You can see this is button one, this is button O, this is button one, this is button two, and this is one, uh, button three. What if we want to delete these buttons? Now the only track that we have is the last button, okay? So if we want to delete the buttons or all the buttons, we have to append, append them into a list. So first we have to create an empty list. Let's say self dot uh, list of buttons of buttons. Let's uh, say it's empty for now. Okay, and when we append right here before adding the widgets, let's say let's say self dot list dot list of buttons dot append. We're gonna append the buttons themselves. So self dot pdn. Okay, and in here to delete the buttons, we have to create another button. Or we can use the buttons that appeared here, but uh, but to not complicate it more for you, so we're gonna create another button. Let's just copy this and paste it right right here. Okay, instead of this, we're gonna say delete, and in here. I'm gonna say delete and let's come let's come to let's come to this Python file main and say uh, this um, the button dot delete and it takes only self and in here we have our lists so we're gonna loop the list for let's say buttons buttons and self dot list of buttons and then here we're gonna we're gonna say remove 
or self dot remove or self dot remove a remove widget and buttons okay let's see if this works okay the the delete is above the create so in here let's give it a position of 0.2 let's see how this turns to be so create this is our buttons so now if we want to delete we're gonna do it this way it's pretty straightforward and simple okay I hope this video has been helpful to you and that's all thank you